Solution Mo, we want people to be healthy. Don't go to the doctor, don't get sick, pay your premiums on time, and everyone's happy. Why do we want to sign up sick people? If we were a sports team and we signed up sick players, people would be furious. Our company has some fantastic athletic enhancement compounds in the works. One will double both your RBIs and your girth. This playing the HMO's mentality isn't rational. If you're sick, why don't you harass someone who can do something about it, like God, instead of calling and harassing our call center workers? Health, Ryan. My wife and I have a six-bedroom villa on the ocean in the Caribbean that we bring other couples to for healthy adventure. Nico, how you doing? This is so much fun. You know, Roman, I haven't been having that much fun since I got here. Has been a lot like hard work. Well, you should hang out with your cousin more often. Maybe that is the problem. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Brucey. Well, we're sitting here and calling the cops and watching them show up and look around. The fucking stupid bastard. You shouldn't cry wolf, Robert. Who knows when you really need help? Fuck! I think they see us. Have to call Nico. the drill, hard man. Get out of there. Yeah, I'm talking about the interesting. Story. All you people want to talk about is money and co-payments and stuff. And I, I just talked about <laughs> swimming and piss. Steaming piss. Well, what is wrong with you people, man? No wonder you get sick. So pet up. You all need a good enemy. Or you, or you might explode. That's another thing we haven't talked about. Right? We ain't talked about it. Y euthanasia. Well, why are they all prostitutes? <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? I'm gonna bring this back to topic. Uh, you know, speaking of foreign countries, we really need to step up the war on drugs in this country. Now that's a good point. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm talking about these criminals. These geezer criminals who smuggle drugs over the border so people can get them at a cheap rate and not pay a fair market price that we control. Hard medication, my ass. Well, uh, Sheila, a, a lot of people can't afford your... You're going to have your license revoked. What? My friend, smoking in a bar. You're whining about the cost? It makes me want to throw up. People have to take responsibility. I mean, just the other day, this woman began to freak out in front of me and clutch her chest. So I did the responsible thing. I walked away. Yes, I work in the health industry. Yes, I had a purse full of life-saving heart drug samples, but I did not know if this woman had insurance. I did not know if she was going to sue me. So I did the responsible thing, and I left it to the professionals. Did you even call 911? I left that to the professionals as well. Well, uh, what happened to this poor woman? Well, she died, but she learned a very valuable <laughs> lesson. First off, you wouldn't be having a heart attack in the street if you had gone to the doctor the day before and requested a prescription for a pill you saw on a TV commercial but don't know what